What were the revolutionaries so upset about? They were upset because the government was throwing away money that they needed. Because, and th they were upset because they were having to pay half of around half of what they earned to the government and pay tithes. I right, shut up, Austin. Stop looking at me like that. Okay. Oh, yeah, Dude, just leave, Austin. Oh my God. We can edit that part out. Yeah. Uh, and they were basically just giving their money to the. They were paying what they earned to tithes to the government and to the and to the government. And this was making them upset because what they were paying was basically just being thrown out. Okay. What was the tennis court oath? The tennis court oath was like a pledge, like a pledge that was signed by about 570 members of the third estate, and and on an estate general meeting, um, and 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 they were in a tennis court. At the, in the during the same month, they were uh, a group. Of, the group started calling themselves the National Assembly. Their group and the deputies from the third estate were. They would meet in a nearby tennis court, to and they would pledge not to separate and to reassemble wherever they were required to and. They would never. They wouldn't back off until the kingdom was established with the constitution that they wrote. Why did the leaders of the revolution want to create terror? They were trying. They were trying to overthrow the monarchy that they that the king had, and they were trying. How they were trying to overthrow all the supporters that of the monarchy. All the people from the first, second, and third estate that were supporters of the monarchy, they they killed, so they would kill them, and they were and they were thinking that maybe this way, the other monarchy supporters would back off and be, and so, so that they wouldn't be killed, and then they would like let them have the democracy, and so that they could change the government. That's it. Take two, action. What was the estate system and how did it contribute to the French Revolution? Okay, well there are three estate systems. And the first estate was the Roman Catholic Church and they owned about 10% of the land. The second estate was the rich nobles and most of their wealth went into the land and they owned about 20% of the land. They also paid almost no taxes. The third estate was the peasants, artisans, cooks, servants, and whatever else. Um, they paid very high taxes and um, they were very well educated. Most of them were, at least. Um, the estate system has everything to do with the French Revolution. The third estate is the main subject of the French Revolution. You see, they were tired of paying higher taxes than anyone else, so they decided to take action and create their own democracy by stepping up to the king, and anyone who followed the king, they would be killed. What system of government did they have before the revolution, and what kind of government did they want? Uh, the system that they were living in before they took over was a uh, monarchy with the king and queen, um, and then there was a, they wanted a democracy. What was Rose Pierre's perspective and was it enlightening? Uh, Rose Pierre's perspective on the French Revolution was, I believe, very enlightening. Um, he believed that uh, to make the country better, that virtue without terror is murderous, but terror without virtue is powerless. And terror is nothing else than a swift, severe, indomitable justice. It flow then from virtue. His perspective on the French Revolution was that it was going to get worse before it got better, and that's the way that it needed to be.